Last July in Downing Street in her famous Just About Managing speech on the day she became Prime Minister, Theresa May described several burning injustices, as she put it, in our society. I want to look at them. What does this Queen's speech do to make sure the criminal justice system stops treating black people more harshly than white? Well, there are measures in the, uh, I believe, in the, uh, the bill on the courts, which I, th I, I think is, is supposed to uh, address some of those issues. And I think one, one thing in particular that um, we, are, we are looking at is um, m measures to... Hang on a second. You know, you, uh, we, there, are, there are all sorts of measures that we want to take to, to ensure that uh, we do not discriminate against everybody. And uh, I think you'll find that the Prime Minister has been strong on that in her response, to, uh, particularly to the, uh, the attack in, in Finsbury. Well, let me help you a little. Day. She's, she's talked about a race disparity unit, uh, on, an audit, right. which we published later this year. It's going to highlight differences in outcomes in every area, including criminal justice, but offers no solutions to the burning injustice that she highlighted. I want to ask you about another burning injustice. What well, does this I mean, Queen's it... speech do to help white working class boys go to university? Well, w one of the things uh, that we want to see is uh, good schools for everybody and greater investment in our schools. And so uh, I think perhaps the, the most important thing that the, uh, the, the Queen's speech does is continue to have uh, to support economic growth for this country. So well, I can tell you that, that in, in this speech in and in the Downing Street briefing notes, invest in our education. Uh, working point? class aren't mentioned in neither uh, university. Can, can, can I just finish? Make my point. Uh, the objective of the Queen's speech. There, there, are, there are three objectives. The first is to make sure that we have a uh, a good Brexit, a successful Brexit. A, I'm asking a, a you about getting white working the class boys yes, to university. And, just, and, and if you'll forgive me, I'm I'm, I'm coming to that point. Uh, what we want to see is uh, a fantastic educational system with better, uh, with better schools, and uh, to make sure that uh, we increase the we, we make sure there's a ladder of opportunity for for everybody. So uh, what we will what we will do is uh, support schools, in particular uh, academies, uh, already being sponsored and supported by. Uh, universities, as you know, is a great part of their their outreach work and access to higher education uh, for all sectors of the community, particularly white working class boys, is an, is is one of their priorities. Right, so let me turn to another burning injustice that she highlighted. What does this Queen's speech do to improve mental health care? Well, w what we want to see on mental health care is a uh, a, a, a proper understanding, and there, indeed, I, I think you will find to, to get back to your to your first question. Well, why don't we do the questions uh, can, can, in the order I'm as, asking well, them? No, uh, sorry, this, no, it's, not about Ronnie, this... it's not a two Ronnie sketch. You can't answer the question before last. I'll tell no, you what I'm this sorry, Queen I'm speech no, says. Sorry, I'm sorry, it what promises it's... a review of the laws on mental health and a discussion paper on children's mental health. There are no yes, policies; it also, it also just mentions, a review also, and a discussion sorry, from a party that's been in government for seven years. It also mentions. It also mentions the. Uh, the injustice that you spoke of earlier, which is that uh, too many people under the current Mental uh, Health Act are come from ethnic minorities and who uh, who are sectioned and who and who fit and who end up in police cells as a result of the current procedures. And we want to try to address that. So, uh, I, you know, I appreciate your 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 desire to, to sort of push me around, but that is well, I've, that I've is got a desire to, to deal with the burning injustices which Theresa May herself highlighted yes, in Downing I, Street I, less I, than a year ago. And I've tried and I've tried to give you some, some answers well, to Well, let those me ask things. you about another one. What does this Queen's speech do to help young people buy their own homes? Well, uh, what we will do is go forward with a massive programme of house building under... Every government says uh, Sajid, Sajid Javid, and we're going to build a million homes by 2020, another half million by 2020. How does it help young people and, buy them? Well, because we will, we will make... Uh, because the, the objective of a vast house building programme is to uh, increase accessibility and affordability and that is what we will we will we will do and uh, I, might, I might mention by the way that many young people are currently in the position of having to rent their homes and they uh, would appreciate I think the measures that are being uh, were announced today to allow to, to stop 
letting agents from charging unnecessary fees and to cap the deposits that young people are currently forced to uh, make for their for their rental home. So uh, we, we are going to get on with a, a huge programme of, of home building. I think you, you know, you're asking a, a reasonable point about uh, how we can particularly make these homes accessible to, to young people. I think what you need to do is to have part by part rent schemes that uh, enable young people to, to get on the ladder even if they don't have the the cash to pay for a for a, for a big deposit and these, we will be we will be supporting those all right these are all things Theresa may herself declared were burning injustices in this yes, queen's she, speech she's there's, right. there's not a single concrete policy announcement in any of them let's turn to the policies which no, well, less than two I, weeks if I, ago. If, I, if, I, if I may respectfully say to you i don't think that's that's true i think right. that, uh, that, that i think i i've i've given you uh, on mental health, on housing supply, uh, on uh, 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 the other issues that you raised, right. uh, there, there, are, there are considerable measures in, the, in this Queen's speech intended to deal with those very burning injustices. Okay. And, that is, and that is the ambition of the Conservative Party and well, the ambition turn, of this government. May. Thank you. Let me turn to the policies which less than two weeks ago won the support of 13.7 million voters. Ditching the pension triple lock, reforming social care, energy cap, 100 new free school years, uh, free schools a year, an end to the ban on selective schools, a free vote on the Hunting Act, changes to the winter fuel allowance. 13.7 million people voted for these policies, and poof, they're gone. Well, you know, I'm not going to hide it from you that the election did not turn out exactly I as we won would have hoped. Uh, but as you know... did you win the election? Well, we have certainly the largest party, and yes, we did win the election in the sense we are 56 seats ahead of the, the, the second party, that's the Labour Party. And so it's our job to form a government, if we possibly can, and to get on with what I think is a very progressive uh, Queen's speech, and the one that will, that, uh, as I said just now, has three important aspects. First is getting Brexit done, getting it done well. Next, obviously, is the economic measures, a, a very considerable investment in, uh, in infrastructure, uh, some, fa some very important measures to support uh, our electric vehicle sector to boost Britain's role in, uh, right. in, yeah, in the we, space we, industry. We have listed the uh, policies earlier in the programme. I appreciate well, you, I, you I, weren't I, able to hear all of that. I, well, thank you. I'm afraid I was in, I was, I was in the chamber, so I, 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 I must have missed that. But for the benefit of our, of our listeners who perhaps didn't take it in first time... Well, they can catch uh, it on the iPlayer. Why don't I ask you another question, since you're a busy man? We have a Prime Minister unable to offer solutions to her own burning injustices. She's unable to implement her own manifesto. What's the point of this Prime Minister? Well, as I say, Theresa May uh, won more votes than I think than anybody since since Margaret Thatcher. Indeed, you 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 you, you may, may be worth pointing out we the Conservative Party got more votes uh, this time in 2017 uh, than we did in 2015. I and think yet you can't implement your key policies. two million votes, and the policies that uh, we are announcing today, I think, are excellent. And the challenge really is for Labour to say whether they would support these policies. And I see, uh, I, I, I look at uh, these measures, they seem to me to be progressive, they're humane, uh, tackling uh, domestic violence and abuse, uh, dealing, as I've said, with uh, overcharging of, of tenants, uh, protecting people's data uh, on the internet. These are, these, are, these are measures that I think the Labour Party would right. want but, to, but to point, say, to say point nothing of the, 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 the counter-terrorism work that we are doing. The point of the Prime and, Minister is? And Theresa May has, as I say, got more votes than anybody since That's Margaret That's what she Thatcher. did. What's her point now? And, uh, uh, to deliver this, these three objectives. You and can't say what the point one, of the Prime Minister is. Ah, yes, it is. The point of the Prime Minister is to lead the country, to give uh, a, uh, a, a lead on these key issues and to take this Queen's speech through. And she will. And she will do a great job. And I can tell you something, the, the people of uh, this country, and I, you know, I, I think have had pretty much enough of elections. I don't think they want to, I think most people uh, want a period of calm. There is, it is true that there are some agitators out here today in, uh, in, the, in, the, in Westminster shouting about a day of rage and wanting to overturn democracy and that kind of thing. I, I don't think they re reflect the views of the vast majority of people. Right. I think most people will look at this, uh, the, this, this Queen's speech, look at the measures contained in it, will see a lot to advance the cause of social justice that you described earlier, and uh, I think that they will approve, and I hope that okay. the Labour Party will approve and support it as well.